Good day everyone, I'm Teacher Justin and for today we're going to talk about finding the domain and the range of our quadratic function. If we're given the vertex form or standard form of our quadratic function, okay, we can be able to find the domain and range of our quadratic function. Now for example, we're given the vertex form of our quadratic function, we can simply identify the domain and range of our quadratic function kasi yung domain and range niya nakabase siya sa ating vertex ng ating ng ating quadratic function. So for finding the domain of our quadratic function, okay, take note that domain is all the values of x. So for the domain of our quadratic function, always remember that it is all real number. Laging lahat ng real number pwedeng i-substitute sa value of x natin. Walang restriction. We can write it in this form, x such that x is an element of any real number. Or it can be in a form of an interval from negative infinity to positive infinity. Yan yung pwede nating i-substitute sa ating x. So ating variable x. Now for the range of our quadratic function, it is all the values of y or the values of f of x. So we have two conditions for the range of our quadratic function. First is if a is greater than 0, it opens upwards. So the parabola opens upward. So our y will be greater than or equal to k. And k here is the y-coordinate of our vertex. Yan yung ating minimum value. So we can write it in this form. Um, y such that y is greater than or equal to k. Or an interval form from k to positive infinity. Another condition is if our a is less than 0, so our parabola opens downward. Therefore, the value of y will be less than or equal to k. So take note that it is going to be a parabola opening downwards. So our vertex is at the highest point. Therefore, k here is our y-coordinate or the maximum value of our Parabola. Now, we can write it in this form, y such that y is less than or equal to k, or an interval form from k to negative infinity. And that's it! Let's have some examples in identifying the domain and range of our quadratic function. Alright, tada! Okay, let's find the domain and range of this given quadratic function. So, ang first step natin is find the domain. And remember that the domain of our quadratic function will always be all real numbers. So yung answer natin will be x such that x is an element of any real number or we can use the interval form negative infinity to positive infinity. Now for the range naman, let's identify the orientation of our graph. So since our a is equal to 1, it is greater than 0, it opens upward. So since it opens upwards, our value of y will be greater than or equal to k. And our k here is equal to negative 9. So, makukuha natin siya sa vertex form. Let's write our answer. So, all the numbers greater than negative 9 will be our value for y. So, our answer here will be y such that y is greater than or equal to negative 9. Or, we can say that negative 9 going to positive infinity. And that will be our domain and range of this quadratic function. Alright, let's find the domain and range of the given quadratic function f of x is equal to negative squared quantity x plus 4 plus 25. So yung domain ng ating quadratic function will be all real numbers. So it will be x such that x is an element of real numbers. So, yung interval niya is from negative infinity to positive infinity. For the range naman, we have to identify the orientation of the graph. So, first, yung a niya is equal to negative 1. Tapos, it is less than 0, so it opens downward. Therefore, yung vertex natin is at the highest point. So, ang y natin will be less than or equal to k. Now, ano yung k natin? So, ang k... So, ang k natin matatagpuan sa ating vertex form which is 25. So, k is equal to 25. Now, let's write it in our final answer wherein y such that y is less than or equal to 25. Or we can write it in the form of an interval 
from 25 going to negative infinity. Pababa. Okay, so that will be our domain and range of our quadratic function. Tara, all right. Okay. okay, let's find the domain and the range of our quadratic function. F of x is equal to two times the squared quantity x minus three minus three. Okay, domain muna. So yung domain niya will be all real numbers. So x such that x is an element of all real numbers, or we can write it in the form of an interval. From negative infinity to positive infinity. Now, let's proceed to our range. The range of our quadratic function will be um, based on our orientation. So, yung orientation ng graph natin, we get the value of a and compare it to zero. So, our a is greater than zero. So, our parabola opens upward. And since it opens upward, our y will be greater than or equal to k. Now, since it is greater than or equal to k, let's identify the value of k. So, sa vertex form, makikita natin yung k sa labas ng ating group na x minus 3 squared. So, it will be negative 3. So, our k is equal to negative 3. Now, let's write it in our final answer, wherein y such that y is greater than or equal to negative 3. And let's write the interval form of our answer. It is from negative 3 going to positive infinity. And that will be our final answer. Ta-da! Alright. Let's have this item. Let's find the domain and range of this quadratic function. This quadratic function is written in vertex form. So, ang first step natin is let's find the domain. And napakadali lang yung pagkuha ng domain ng ating quadratic function. Because the answer for all quadratic function is all real numbers. So, we can say that x such that x is an element of all real numbers. Now, we can write it in this interval form from negative infinity to positive infinity. So, ganito natin siya isusulat. Tapos, punta naman tayo sa range. Yung range natin, it will be based on the orientation of the graph of our quadratic function. So, kailangan natin kunin yung ating a. So, a here is 3. So, makukuha natin siya dito sa ating... Um, coefficient ng squared group natin. So, a is equal to 3. And, we will compare it to 0. So, if our a is positive or greater than 0, we can say that the orientation of the graph opens upward. And, kung it opens upward, we can say that the vertex is located at the bottom or at the minimum value. Therefore, we can say that all values of y will be greater than or equal to k. So, ano nga ba yung k natin dito? So, since this is a vertex form, we can say that our k is located at negative 167 over 4. So, our k is equal to negative 167 over 4. So, we will have our range, which is y such that y will be greater than or equal to negative 167 over 4. Or, we can say that from negative 167 over 4 going to positive infinity. And this will be our domain and range. And that's it. Ta-da! Alright. Okay. Let's have this item. Let's find the domain and the range of this quadratic function. So, yung quadratic function natin, naka-vertex form siya. So, in finding the domain, napaka-simple lang. For all quadratic function, the domain, all values of x are all real numbers. So, we can say that for all values of x, so x such that x is an element of all real numbers. Or, we can say that in interval form, from negative infinity to positive infinity. Punta naman tayo sa range. So, in getting the range of our quadratic function, first we have to identify the orientation of the graph. So, we need to get the value of a, which is negative 5, located here. Okay? Tapos, compare natin siya to 0 to see if it opens upward or downwards. So, since our a is less than 0 or negative, we can say that our parabola opens downward. Therefore, the vertex is located at the highest point of our parabola. So, since nasa highest point siya, we can say that all values of y will be less than k, the maximum value. So, ang maximum value natin is equal to k. So, the value of k will be 
21 over 5. At makikita natin yung 21 over 5 dito sa vertex form natin, yung constant, which is 21 over 5. So, now let's write it in our set builder notation. So, the value of y such that y will be less than or equal to 21 over 5. And that will be our range. And we can also write this in interval form. So, we can say that from 21 over 5 going to negative infinity kasi pababa yung ating graph. So, since pababa yung ating value of y, we can say that it is going to negative infinity. That's why the interval is 21 over 5 going to negative infinity. And that's it! Ta-da! Alright! Okay, let's find the domain and range of this quadratic function. So our quadratic function is written in vertex form. So let's find the domain and the range of this quadratic function. So yung domain ng quadratic function, kahit anong quadratic function pa yan, okay, the domain will always be all real numbers. Therefore, we can say that x such that x is an element of all real numbers. So we can also write this in interval form from negative infinity to positive infinity. So again, domain is referring to the value of x. Okay, so punta naman tayo kay range wherein it is referring to all values of f of x or y. Para makuha natin yung range ng isang quadratic function, we have to identify first the orientation. And to identify the orientation, kailangan natin kunin yung value ng a. So our a in this quadratic function is negative 4. Dito natin siya makukuha. Okay, eto negative four. Tapos let's compare it to zero. So our a is less than zero, kasi negative sya. So we can say that the orientation of the graph opens downward. Now since it opens downward, we have our vertex at the top, at the highest point, and lahat ng value of y na will be going down. So our y will be less than or equal to our maximum value. So, ang maximum value natin will serve as k of our vertex. And what will be the value of k? The value of k is located here in our vertex form, yung negative 11 over 4. Now, let's write it in our set builder notation. y such that y is less than or equal, kukopyahin lang natin to, less than or equal to k. And what's the value of k? It is negative 11 over 4. And... That will be our set builder notation. And for our interval, we will be writing it from negative 11 over 4 going to negative infinity. Take note, we will use bracket for our negative 11 over 4 and parenthesis for our infinity symbol. So negative infinity. So since pababa siya, from negative 11 over 4 going to negative infinity. And that's it. That will be our domain and range. Ta-da! Alright. And that is it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have comments, questions, recommendations, suggestions for my next video, please leave them in our comment section below. Share this video and subscribe. And for more videos like this, you can go to my channel, Teacher Justin. And that is it for today. Again, I'm Teacher Justin. Goodbye, God bless, and stay safe. See you on my next video. Peace. Thank you.